For this week's tutorial, we worked on a couple of spots. First, I show you how to add some little hooks. I'm not sure they're showing up in the video. The idea is they're going to blend in, but they'll allow us to hang things like plants, bird feeders, whatever, from our front porch. The other thing we did, I'm going to try not to make everybody seasick, is we put a front sidewalk in, walking up to our step, and we did a base coat of brown paint to prep us for next week's or the next tutorial's project. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this is to do. Alright, so we're starting at kind of an odd angle here. Well, what we're looking at, just so I can kind of get you up to speed, this is the bottom side of our porch ceiling. This is our post that we put in last week, and these are our strips that are basically outlining our porch floor down below. And I'm going to put there a bottle of Mod Podge under my roof just to keep this a little more stable for you. I have pre-marked where I want these. And what I've done, and I'll show you when I get these installed and the porch is upright. This is centered, this mark is centered between the porch post and the edge of the step. And this one is centered between the wall and the edge of the, of the step on that side. I've got one over here, not sure if that's on camera or not. That one is centered front to back on the porch. These are going to be, well, to add these. What I've got is a package. I picked these up at Dran Fabrics the other day. They're Hildy and Joe, which is the brand of jewelry findings that's carried in the store. They're screw eyes. And these are like $2.50 about for a package of 50. And basically all they are, as you can see I'll lay it here so you can kind of see it against the paint, they're a little miniature screw eye just like we would use in our house in full size. And we're going to put these on these marks. In the past I've done this same project on other doll houses but I've used the eye pins from the jewelry department but I thought since these have the screw on the end and that's why I put the wood here it'll make it so much easier to make them stay. Now I'm going to start a hole with a push pin. I am actually going to put glue on this but I don't see my glue. Here's some glue. I've got some tacky glue here. If I can get it open. I'm going to put just a drop of glue down here because to help this stay a little more in place I'm going to dip that, just dip the tip in glue. It won't actually glue the metal to anything, but what it's going to do, this will be really hard for me to screw it in on camera. I may have to turn camera off. What will happen is the glue will harden and it will fill in the spaces between the little spirals on the screw end of this, and that will hold this in place. All right, and then I want to make sure that. You can either make these go front to back or side to side. Just make sure they all go the same direction. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to put in these two, and when the glue's dry, I'll come back and I'll show you how they look. And I'll try and get some photos to show you how they look all more right, in person. These are all now in, and the glue is dried. So we're going to turn this over, and we're going to do another step. All right, so I kind of sketched out with pencil what I want to do. I'm not sure. I think need to erase that line. That line I'm going to ignore because that's going to actually come across. Today we're going to, right now we're going to work on the walkway, but what I'm planning is a planting bed back here, some lawn, lawn around there, and then a planting bed that goes around the porch. So I'm kind of set up weirdly for filming right now. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. But for our walkway, and this would have worked better had I used the um, the Dollar Tree 
foam core, but we'll see how this works. Put my idea here if this works. Yeah. I need to score it along the front of the step. Obviously, this is sitting on something because it's rocking. Oops, not into my pink. What I'm doing is I'm scoring just through the top layer, that paper. I want to pull it off so I don't have the smooth paper. I want the texture of the foam. I'm going to turn the camera off so I can get this where I can work on it, and then I'll be back. All right, I finally got all the paper off. I actually ended up spraying this with just a little mist of water, and then I was able to get that paper off. So now, oh, sorry, <laughs> hopefully I'm not, mess, not knocking into that. Looks like we're four inches wide. So what I want to do is get my ruler around my tripod and that's not going to work. I'm going to draw a pencil line because I want to score a line I should right there to make this look like poured concrete with an expansion joint. And I'm just scoring down that line with a toothpick. And then I think I'm going to cut this out just a little bit, kind of clean that out. Do I have chopstick kind of use a broken chopstick I want to make a little divot there because I want it to look like there's an expansion joint in our sidewalk that comes up to our step I don't want it to be a single piece now you could even carve this into stones if you wanted to now I need to go retrieve the paintbrush that I forgot to bring I'll be right back I am so disorganized this morning all right, now I just have some black craft paint. Basically, we are going to make this look very similar to this. I've got a little container off camera to squirt a little paint into. This won't take much paint, but we want to undercoat it in black. And we want to do it before we start working on any of the surrounding area, just in case we splatter our black. So I'm going to move, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to turn this where I can get a better reach. I'm going to paint this little step, little walkway area black. And when that paint is dry, I'll come back and we'll go to the next step. All right, our black paint is now dry. So we're going to do, and I'm going to do most of this off camera. I'm going to do the exact same finish I did here. The only difference is instead of a sponge, I'm going to use a cotton ball. I want a slightly different texture because I don't sidewalks are usually a little bit different texture than your porch. I want it to blend, but I don't want it to be exactly the same. So I'm starting with my darkest gray. I'm going to blot it off. Beauty of working on freezer paper. And I can go past the edge because I haven't started my next part of my project. So I'm going to, over the next couple of hours, paint on the layers of paint and when those are done I'll come back and we'll do the next all step. Right, so I have this all painted and I have put a coat of um, matte Mod Podge over it. If you're curious about how I did this basically I did the exact same thing I did here except I used cotton balls and I did use a uh, cotton swab to get into the crevices. Then it's coated with the Mod Podge to seal it and it's a matte Mod Podge. Now we are going to paint everything that's left bare foam core. It's going to get painted with a brown, and it can be any brown craft paint, kind of a dark color. This is a base coat for what we are going to do next week. 
So I know this is not very exciting, so I'm going to turn the camera off. And don't worry about losing your lines. Those were just to give you an idea of where things were going. We'll finalize our flower beds, or our planting beds, and our lawn areas next week. So I'm going to finish painting everything dark brown. And when it's painted and dried, I'll come back and we'll talk about what we've accomplished. All right, so the paint is fairly dry all the way around. It's not a perfect coat. There's a few thin spots. That's fine. Really, all this is is a base coat so that on our next step, in the next tutorial, we won't have any chance of seeing the white foam core through it. So that's where we're going to stop today. We've put the hooks in for anything we might want to hang on our porch. And we've got our sidewalk done, and we've base coated the rest of our base. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Be sure and check the blog post. There will be photos over there and more information um, about the things that I've used today. If you'd like to help support the channel, be sure and check out my Patreon page. The link for both of those things is in the video description at the bottom of the video here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.